Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you how to fix a really common problem uh, that people run into when uh, they're recording video or audio, and that's removing background noise. Um, that's uh, hums, could be fans, um, thing noises around the house like a refrigerator, stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do it in two applications, uh, Adobe Audition, uh, which is what I have open right now, and then Audacity, uh, which is free and which lots of people use also. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to play uh, some sample video, uh, sample audio that I recorded earlier with a fan in the background. Uh, this is our sample audio recording uh, with a fan in the background uh, that we're going to be working with for this video. Uh, this is our noise profile gap. And this is me talking a little bit more, and now the sample is over. Okay, so the secret to doing this is capturing um, audio without you talking, and it, it's got to be the ambient noise in your environment. Um, so that's what the, the noise profile gap is here. Um, so for Audition, what you want to do is select that region. It, And basically make sure that there's no extra sounds in there other than the ones that we want to remove. So the next step is under effects, go down to noise reduction and restoration. And the first step is to choose a uh, capture noise print. Uh, the other option is to do this by the keyboard command uh, shift P. So we'll go ahead and do that and you'll get this warning and you can hit okay. So now uh, audition has, has captured this into um, memory is the thing it's going to use. The next step is again go to noise reduction restoration and then this time choose noise reduction process. Now the noise reduction control here gives you a lot of different options um, which I'll talk about the reasons you would want to modify these in a minute. Um, but for now let's go ahead and apply and now let me play the first part of the video again, the audio. Uh, this is our sample audio recording uh, with a fan in the background uh, that we're going to be working with for this video. Uh, this is our noise profile gap. And this is me talking a little bit more. And now the sample is over. So you can hear that the noise has essentially been removed from the background. Um, if we go back to the control panel here, um, the one thing that you might need to adjust slightly is if the noise, the hum that you're trying to remove isn't quite removed perfectly. Um, you can uh, adjust these settings and uh, try to, to get a better result. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, let's go ahead and sh move on to Audacity. So uh, here in Audacity, let me just play this. Uh, this is our sample audio record. Now, uh, the steps are essentially the same. Uh, we want to select uh, a region uh, for our noise profile. Perfect. So what you want to do is go to Effect, Noise Reduction, click on Get Noise Profile. Once that's done, go to Effect, Noise Reduction. Let's hit Preview. Now, uh, this is where Audacity is a little different. Uh, by default, the default settings actually reduces the volume of the background noise but doesn't remove it. So uh, I've done this before. The, the, I have to put this up to about 23 before it will remove uh, the noise. There's a problem with this. So if we hit cancel first and deselect so that the entire uh, file gets the, uh, analyzed, let's do that again, noise reduction and set this back to 23 and then hit OK. Now let's take a listen. 
Uh, this is our sample audio recording uh, with a fan in the background uh, that we're going to be working with for this video. Uh, this is our noise profile gap. And it does a fair job. Um, the thing in particular that bothers me is that if you listen to this section a few times... It's subtle, but there's uh, noise artifacts that get introduced into the audio by the reduction process. Um, and basically, if you look at as you're talking and there's other noises going on around you, um, you're removing particular frequencies, and some of those frequencies overlap with uh, the human voice. Um, so there's a, a little way to get around this. Um, this is our... Wait, is, let's undo that. Okay. Let's uh, go back to the effect. Noise reduction. And you can try increasing or decreasing the frequency smoothing. So if I push this to about three and then redo the uh, noise reduction. Let's take another listen. Uh, this is our sample audio recording uh, with a fan in the background uh, that we're going to be working with for this video. So the uh, artifacting is reduced a lot. Um, if we s highlight the same section again. Like I said, it's very subtle. And in fact, if you have background music going on for your video, uh, you might not even have to worry about this. Um, it's only in the case where if you're hearing funny little audio, audio artifacts going on, um, that's one approach to correcting that. So I hope that uh, this helps you out. Um, that's about it. Um, if you like this video, uh, give it a like. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, go ahead and subscribe. Um, that's it, and uh, have a great day.